In this tutorial, you'll learn how to load and display an external image inside the image view component in an asynchronous way. Since the image we are using for this example is hosted on an HTTP domain, we need to set the app transport security option. You can add a domain exception for all the domains you want to allow. Let's open the main storyboard. Add the image view component. Add the left, top, right constraint. To anchor the image to the super view margin, set the height value to 200. Set the content mode to aspect fill. This will resize and cut the image inside the rectangular region we defined. The aspect fit modality will instead Resize the image inside the rectangular region, without cutting it. The scale to fill option, will resize the image, to fill the rectangular region, without maintaining a right aspect ratio. The other contents modes, will keep the image original size, and place the image in the position you've set, center, bottom, top. In this case, you have to put the clip to bounds option on, otherwise, your image could be drawn, outside the image region you've defined. Link the image view instance to a variable, using the assistant editor. Let's define now the function, that will download our image in background. Every time you have to do some job with an unpredictable deadline, you'll have to do this job in background. In this way the main user interface, will not be locked by this unpredictable task. This is done with the URL session data task. You have just to define the link of the image you want to display. Once the data task is complete, the completion handler delegate is called. At this point, you have to check if your data is not nil. It can happen when you do not have internet connection. Then, you can create the image from your data, turn back from the background to the main user interface thread, and assign your image to the view. It's important to do the user interface job on the main thread. That's because only here the views can be modified. Here how the function can be called, you have to pass the image link and the view to fill. Here the final example. If you want to be updated on new Swift tutorial, be sure to subscribe to this channel.